This morning, we are continuing our month long conversation on mental health awareness. More than 50 million Americans suffer from a mental illness, but only half of those seek treatment. And for those seeking mental health treatment, navigating options can be stressful for sure for the family as well. Joining us today to talk about services available are Tony Fernandez and Catherine Blackwell Garner with Deblin Health Concepts. Good morning to you guys and thank you so much for joining us, especially to talk about this very important topic. Talk about what mental health conditions do and how people can treat them. Sure, so, you know, mental, mental health um, really can help, can force people to act different than they normally would, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, they can get derailed from their careers. It can interrupt relationships. And um, what Tony and I do all day, every day, is provide therapy, group, support, case management to really help those people who are struggling with mental health conditions to get back on track and to really be able to thrive in the community. Such a vital resource. And as you're talking about just some of the, some of the things that you all do there, we know that you're 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 helping them, you're helping their family. Mm -hmm. Walk us through what that looks like, you know, when they come to you and are saying they need Well essentially every client that's referred to us is gone goes through a full assessment, a full battery of assessments. So we look at things like their medications, we look at the therapy needs, mm -hmm. we look at their case management needs. So one of the things that we do is we actually go to people's homes. Mm -hmm. So we have case managers go to the homes and we also have therapists that go to the homes. And then we also have an adult day program too, which Catherine is mm -hmm. over. So that's a very, a very helpful, I'm sure. And what role does the family play in mental health treatment? And do you offer family therapy? Oh, as absolutely. Well? And families are key. Mm -hmm. We cannot do this without the support and active involvement of the families. Mm -hmm. So families help advocate for their loved ones. Families are active participants in the therapy process. And when we're in the home helping the client, we are there to really help and support the entire family as they all move forward. Mm -hmm. right. and you know, as parents, you, you want to look out for your child's best interests. You want to help get them the mm -hmm. care that they need, the services they need. If you're mm -hmm. a parent um, and you have a teenager and you think that they, they have a mental health condition, what should they do? Um, as start looking for resources. So it's really key that parents pay attention to their children. Mm -hmm. yeah. If grades are failing, mm -hmm. if activities are changing, mm -hmm. if their friends are changing, it's important that parents pay attention to that and then seek help, right? So there are services available at the schools mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. organizations like ours are absolutely available to help those children mm -hmm. through uh, support counseling, through cognitive therapy, through family therapy, through skills training. So there is, there is a, um, a curriculum that we actually teach people the skills they need to help navigate when they are struggling with a mental illness. In minority families especially, it can be tough to recognize that maybe a family member is dealing with a mental health illness. Mm -hmm. Talk about what these families need to do. For instance, if I see my daughter is struggling or my mm -hmm. mom is struggling, mm -hmm. what would they do first? Well, from a cultural standpoint, it's really important to also have people that are in the culture, people that live in that community. So we actually do have like Hispanic like mm -hmm. Spanish speaking, to work with the Hispanic families, which is very important because a lot of times the Hispanic families don't understand what depression is. Mm -hmm. And so our counselors and also our case managers can actually talk with them in their own language mm -hmm. on how to deal with these types of issues. Right, and that's a stereotype that we need to change because mm -hmm. You're not alone, basically, you know, Absolutely. you're not alone. Yes, mm -hmm. and there is still a stigma, I think, in mm -hmm. some communities um, regarding mental illness, regarding seeking mental health services, mm -hmm. and we really hope that segments like this will help mm -hmm. to uh, break some of that sti stigma that mm -hmm. we see in the community. Mm -hmm. Such an important resource uh, that you all are providing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Sure, thank you. Thank you for having us. And stay with us, we'll be right back after the break.